Okay, so we have seen binary isotropes, which is essentially a isotrope form between A and B. But what will happen if actually we have a A, B, C isotrope in which we cannot separate three of them? Well, there are some cases in which the three components will form a unique ternary isotrope, and we are going to identify this. Now, first things first, we'll be creating a new simulation. Then select the water, ethanol, cycloxane components. Let's go to methods. Let's change Unifac just to change. And now that we have set all, let's choose here turn ternary diagram. And let's use ternary ice trap. Here, water, ethanol, cycloxane, unifac, vapor liquid, liquid, five tile lines, and one atmosphere. Let's run this. And go to the results. These are the mole fractions. But we want to check out the isotrope. So click here. And you can see this is the first isotrope between cycloxane and ethanol. This is the second one, which is water with cycloxane. And this one is the third one, which is ethanol with water. Now, the one we're searching for is this one right here, which is water, ethanol, cycloxane, ternary diagram. Uh, sorry, ternary isotrope. So it's giving at 15% water, 30% ethanol, and 54% cycloxane. 